This video discusses how to replace a valve on a concertina. And the valves are the little flaps of leather that are next to the reeds in the instrument. And there's one for each note. And the valve essentially operates on the back side of the note. So this note will have a valve on the back side that blows open as air is coming through the instrument and it prevents air from leaking out through the note that sits next to the valve. So here, for playing this note, the, va the air pressure will close this valve so that it doesn't leak out through the back of this note. So all the air essentially goes to this note. The wall side or the pull side, the side without the little walls is the push side of the instrument. Okay, so we're gonna pretend we have a bad valve on our this is an, an A on the pull and a C on the push on the right side of the instrument. So the way you would identify the, um, the correct chamber to locate the bad valve is you'd have the instrument together. You'd press the button in where you're having the problem. You would see which pad raises up in this case, it's down here. Then you would place the uh, instrument back together and you would look and see which chamber is under that pad. In this case, as I mentioned, we're talking about an A note. You would then look on the, just to verify that the note has an A stamped on it so that you're definitely in the right chamber. Okay, so if you hear the problem now, there's various problems that can happen. You might have a phantom note sound. That's where you hear a lower octave of the same note. You normally hear this when you just start playing the note and then it goes away. You might hear a popping sound where the note just suddenly gets louder in volume. Um, you might hear a tearing sound, almost like a, like a turbulent rough sound. That normally happens on lower notes and it has to do with the, the reed. It's normally when you're switching from one note to another on the same button. So if you go from a push note to a pull note on the same button, you might hear this little ripping kind of sound. It has to do with the tongue on the opposite side still winding down and blowing the valve open and close very rapidly as it shuts off. Um, anyway, so once you've found which note has the problem, you're gonna wanna pull the valve off and I should say that all of these tend to happen on the note that is played last. So if you're switching, in this case, if I was switching from a C note on the push to an A on the pull, if I heard that on the A, that's where the problem would be. The problem wouldn't be with the C side, it would be with the A side. So that's what we're going to pretend is happening now, that I have a bad A valve. And that's the valve that sits next to the A note. So the A is on the pull, so it's on the wall side. The problem is the valve that sits next to the A. It's not the valve on the back, okay? So it's, technically, it's the C's valve, but it's the one that's in the same chamber as the A. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift up the valve with a screwdriver, and I'm just going to tear it right off. If there's a little bit of residue, a little tiny bit's okay, you can just gently rub it off. Sometimes you get a little bit of leather there. Without you know scratching the wood, you can just very gently do this and it, you'll be fine. Then you're gonna to wanna to take a valve of the same size. So I have a replacement valve here. And all you really need is a small drop of glue right down here and you'll notice where the old glue residue is. Here I have a little plunger type of glue dispenser. You also could just use a toothpick. So I'll do that. I'll put a little glue down. Really, you only need about a drop's worth. You don't want too much because it'll just squeeze out and make a mess. So I've just put a little bit of glue there. I take my new valve you can do this with a needle nose pliers if you're having trouble, but I push it through till it's maybe eighth of an inch, maybe not even that far past the 
the vent that it's covering, put it in place. Then I take a screwdriver and I hold the tip of the valve down. I don't know if you can see that, but I'm just temporarily holding the tip of the valve and then I'm just going to let it fall. You can see it there. I'm just going to let it fall down in place. Make sure it's covering the vent, that it's not falling in. I kind of press it with the screwdriver to make sure I'm not on the edge of it. And that's basically it. You can watch the video on how to disassemble the instrument and put it back together. Um, that will sort of pick things up from here. Um, and that's all I got to say about that.